I'm Dr. Goddess from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the historic Hill District, the home of August Wilson. This poem is called The African American, open poem response to Smokey Robinson's The Black American. There's no shame in taking on another new name because each new identity increases our game. Sojourner Truth, Frederick Douglass, and Tasaki Amiri B, Malcolm X, Martin Luther, and Asada, you see? But you don't understand that the swapping must be unless you want us to believe that your real name is Smokey. As for niggas and slaves, read the books that will leave you assisted. You failed to mention the fact that most of the men and women on slave ships resisted. The terror of dehumanization, the funk of the racist ban. It's because they survived that we're here on this land. All the while you were hoping, planning, plotting, resisting, and then here you come after the fact. Dissing our grandmothers, grandfathers, and African ancestors too. Like some free Africans in the colonies makes an exception out of you. Negro, please. You're talking bloodlines. I'm speaking the spirit. You're trying to distance yourself from slavery, and I'm trying to get near it to understand the depths of the stories we tell, how we lived through this nightmare, survived through this hell. We gave birth to this planet. Of course, we were on the scene, and our ancestors planted proof long before Time magazine found it. Fit to print while well, I'm fit to be tied, cause in your poem, The Black American, you only have tried. You said I'm dwelling in the past. Negro, please, I just learned it. I grew up in the American educational system. My history, I just discerned it. You see, Kwame Nkrumah went to school in the States at Lincoln and Penn, then returned to his home in Ghana and invited us in. Du Bois, Shirley King, ex Maya Angelou, Pan-African Congress as such was already there too. We reunited with ourselves, that's our family, our kin, that's right, Smokey, we called ourselves African. You said if I go to the motherland searching, my feelings would be harmed. But if that's really the case, why was I welcomed with open arms? You're from America, my sister. Well, it's so welcome home. You've been calling out for me, but I never left you alone. I'm proud to be African, proud to be black, especially in an America that tells me both names are whack. But what's mostly important is not color, that's true. But we have a lot of African culture here too. What makes you think our booties don't shake to an African beat? What were our great grandmothers doing with those chicken feet? Why can't you touch me with the broom when you're sweeping the kitchen? Where do field hollers and shouts come from? Hold up, just listen. What was George Washington Carver doing putting peanuts in a can? Or do you think that was strictly American? What's a goober? Where does Gullah come from? Sierra Leone, what I'm wondering is why are you trying to take part of my home as if white Americans don't constantly celebrate Europe, Greece, and Rome? You act like being black doesn't also make you African. Then you went declaring such for the European, so now he's an African and now you not? What? If you have nothing against Africa, why'd you say what you said? You can be African without having to be born and bred. As the saying goes, I'm not African because of my birth by the sea. I am African because Africa was reborn in me. When you speak of our core, do you not hear Africa calling? Or do you think the success of Motown's music is only because of Gordy and Holland Doja Holland? You want your opinion? Fine. That's what it takes to build a nation. But I'm entitled to mine, too. And I think this is just your imagination running away with you. You can say you love America, but we both know the truth. No matter how much you sing and dance, America still don't love you. We ain't vote for Trump anyway. And even this tells us a lesson. Where was your America when black folks in Florida, Ohio, Mississippi, and Louisiana tried to get their voting poll session? But you're American, that's what you say. Black American to boot. We'll see the next time a black man holds up his wallet and yells, please, don't shoot. I'm Dr. Goddess.